Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk Wimbledon. Let's talk actual odds. Let's talk the men's side. Now understand, the way the brackets are, Rafael Nadal at a plus 450. And by the way, those odds are so mispriced that you're getting the same plus 450 on Roger Federer, a guy who Nadal has beaten five consecutive times. Right? Nadal's won the last five matches against him. Well, understand, Nadal at a plus 450, in my opinion, is a casino mispricing. I believe on a futures play, you want to take Nadal to win Wimbledon at a plus 450. Let me tell you how compelling the value is. Only two guys get shorter odds in this tournament. One is Novak Djokovic. Right, he's a plus 175, less than half of the long odds they're giving you on Nadal. Right, the other is Andy Murray, he's a plus 300. Now here's where it gets interesting. Understand the way the brackets break down and for all of these tournaments, you need to focus on the brackets. The way it breaks down, Nadal wouldn't have to face Djokovic or Murray until the finals. In other words, his side of the bracket is by far the weaker side. He has two possible competitors now that he's gotten by Lucas Russell, who has given him problems in the past. He's by Russell now. So the two guys who could give him problems are Stanislaw Wawrinka and of course Roger Federer. Here's the catch. Lately, he's been dominant. In fact, for his career, he's been dominant over these two guys. Right now, Warenka did beat him earlier this year in the Australian Open. But understand, these two guys have met 13 times as pros. Nadal has won 12 of the 13. I like those odds. With regard to Federer, Federer's older now. He's not the dominant player at Wimbledon that he was years ago. And, of course, he's lost his last five to Nadal. Right? So my point to you is, since you're getting the same long odds that you would get if you were to take Federer to win this tournament, and since, really, the big cog that N Nadal has to get by is either going to be, in my opinion, a guy who he's beaten 12 of 13 times or a guy who he's beaten in his last five, then the plus 450 is well worth it. Understand, if Nadal gets to the finals, then you can play the other side of the play and lock in profits, right? Because I'm guessing if Nadal gets to the finals, he's not going to be greater than a plus 200. Right, So you don't even have to worry about Andy Murray's dominance at Wimbledon Right, last year. I believe he's the reigning champion. Nor do you have to worry about Djokovic. Right, You can sit back knowing you're not going to face either until the Wimbledon finals. So here, the plus 450 on the doll, I believe, is compelling value especially since he doesn't really have a lot of competition until he gets to the semis. And even then, he's going to be up against a guy who he has a winning record against. Right? Take a hard look today, June the oh, 26th. Take a hard look at Rafael Nadal at a plus Four fifty on a futures for Wimbledon. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.